Hello, everybody. It's several level four for another loot crate. Um, I don't remember how I started the videos. Um, just a disclaimer: I'm in the middle of a chemo week. It's Thursday now, so pretty far into it. So I'm gonna be talking slow, taking breaks, things like that. But I want to get this done now. Um, so yeah. I actually got it yesterday, but it was too tired yesterday, so I'm going to try to do it in the morning before I have to take the uh, medication and stuff. Okay. So this week's theme, this week, this month's theme is Heroes 2. It's a newer version of the Heroes crate from last year, I guess. Um, has a big hole in it. Um... I don't know what happened to this poor box and shipping, but it was not treated kindly. Anyway, let's open it up. I heard some good stuff about this one. I think that jingle might actually apply to this one. Already looking at it, the inside looks like another reversible loot crate. Um... Yeah, this, this building's going to need some help with a big hole in it. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm not trying to talk too loud, but I have my mic also set higher. Uh, okay, let's start with the reason why the box is ginormous. We have a Q-Pop Batman, classic Batman uh, figure here. Very cool. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so this is classic Batman. Yeah, this is classic Batman. You could tell by the color scheme and the nose thingy, which means that he talks like Adam West. I can't do an Adam West voice right now. That I don't know if that even registered, but remember, Robin, it's always good to have good bat banners. I just, I just can't. I can't even try to do that right now. Adam West has a very good voice. I was recently playing um, Lego Batman 3 with my little brother. I got it on, on uh, PS4. And um, so Adam West provides a lot of voice work for that, for, you know, his character and stuff like that. I hope you can hear me over the crackling. So, yeah. So, this is actually a really nice figure. It's got a little bat knife. Let's bring that up closer to you. So, yeah, he's like on a little eagle thing there. And uh, over here we have... Uh, we have sound effects. There we go. So let's see what we have here. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it says peel pla- it says like, kapow, like, bam! You know, like in the old Batman from the 60s, they had like, you know, sound effect word balloons, pow, bam, uh, womp, spadow. They didn't have- that's, that's plants versus zombies. Uh, so it says peel all the plastic off of the word balloon, and this is a dry erase marker that you can write your own messages on, which I'm not going to do right now because it's going to make a mess. Um, and I assume, yeah, so in the back here, it's a little thing to place the, uh, <laughs> that's cute, that's really cute, I like it. It's also solid. And, yeah, Batman 66. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I like that Batman. It was campy, but it was it was very fun. Um, let's put that over there. Okay, so you shall you shall sit over there for now. <clears throat> okay, next we get a bat multi tool. Just gonna be bad everything. So I'm not gonna open this up, but it's a um, each of the wings is a screwdriver. The middle is a bottle opener and it's keychain. So that's cool. 
unfortunately that's I already have that in the uh, thing that I used to open the loot crate box but it's cool it's nice and heavy it's sturdy so I'll keep that over there too next we have a Star Trek air freshener with the uh, the Vulcan Vulcan salute live long and prosper uh, good stuff Good stuff. I'm not going to open this right now because it's probably going to make me throw up. It's vanilla, though. It's nice. Just a closer look at that. So, you know, like that. It's good stuff. I miss Spock. Leonard Nimoy. He was a good man. Sad that he passed away this year. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> it's one of those, um, like, you know, Rosie the Riveter kind of, you know, you can do it, but with uh, Wonder Woman. Very nice. Is that Rosie the Riveter? I don't know. But yeah, Wonder Woman. She can do it. You know the you know the, the woman with the headband and the thing from the World War Two? Pretty sure it's World War Two era. Okay. Let's see what else we got. I'm so sorry, this is like the most boring thing ever. Ooh. That's nice. It's a Legend of Zelda sweatband. It's like a, has the Triforce. And I guess you put it around an arm or something and it's like, you know, you deflect bullets with it or something. I think that's what you do anyway. Or you're like, by the power of Skull or something like that. Anyway. And then a book. Regrettable superheroes. Let's just take a look at this. The Loot Crate Edition. The League of Regrettable Superheroes. So what is... I have, a, I have a bad feeling about this. Introduction. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is this is an actual thing. It's not just like made up stuff. It's the... Uh, you can't see it because it's stupid light. But it has uh, heroes from the Golden Age, the Silver Age, the Modern or Bronze Age of, uh, of comics... <laughs> let's see if I know to know any of these people. Um, let's see, Mother Hubbard, <laughs> uh, Miracle Man, uh, Fat Man, na, 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 na. Captain Marvel's on here. Oh, that's terrible. That's mean. Uh, <laughs> Rom Space Knight, uh, US One. Oh my God, I need to show this. This, this is like Linkara's book. <laughs> Uh, Thunder Bunny, Bunny Man. You're not gonna get that reference. The Fab Four, Dracula, B Man, Doctor Hormone. Oh, this is beautiful. I love things like this. Uh, and it has like pieces of the old comics and stuff with these stupid superheroes. Uh, that's great. That's great. It has just like a page describing each of these each of these superheroes that probably shouldn't have been I have to go see why they say uh why they say Captain Marvel's regrettable though. Who who wrote this? John Morris. I thought it said Grant Morrison or whatever. Seventy three. Yes, I'm going to read a book <clears throat> on video. This is not the Captain Marvel I was thinking of. Okay, that's fine. He is Rayman. This Captain Marvel is Rayman. I don't even know what con company this is. It just says Captain Marvel. It doesn't say... Yeah, MF Enterprises. It's not DC or, uh, or Marvel. That's probably why it was a different Captain Marvel. <laughs> uh, Harvey Comics... See, the Sentinels, Spy Man, and the Modern Age had more Rob Liefeld type things, except this wasn't Liefeld. You can't really see what I'm looking at, but it's X-Force. Uh, let's see, no, come on, come on, where's, where's my, uh, where's my Rom Space Knight? Don't care, don't care, Prez, first teen president of the USA.
There we go, Rom Space Knight. He became a toy line and then got, uh, what was it? It was a Marvel product. He, he actually was in other stuff that Linkar talked about. But it was, it was mainly to make a toy line. I'm sorry if this is like peaking because I'm right next to the microphone. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm going to say Linkara a bazillion times now, but he, he had, he had comics on this and it was good. Uh, uh comics videos. And... Thunder Bunny. <laughs> and US one. He's a trucker with a head plate that gets CB radio broadcasts and a little um, uh, uh, silver dollar that has cool stuff built into it. Yeah, it, it's it's as awesome as you think. Uh, Brawlhalla, which is a game, free-to-play platformer brawler, White Fang Nash Legend skin, Long Tooth Spear skin, Helling Skull Hammer skin, Nash Legend unlock. So this is a code to unlock stuff in a free-to-play game. I'm probably not going to do that, but whatever. Uh, let's see. We have the Loot Crate magazine, which we'll read in a moment, and we of course have the month's Loot Crate badge. July 2015, Heroes 2. It's Batman with the uh, the bat signal. You can't really see because my camera stinks, and we'll open you in just a second. Um, it's nice artwork, actually. Congratulate the artist on that. Holy, <laughs> holy, here we go again. Robin, Batman TV show. Yeah, Robin was like, holy appropriate phrase for the situation. My favorite, which I don't know if he actually ever said, was holy hand grenades, Batman. Because, you know. And a picture of Batman kissing Wonder Woman. Superman finds out that's not going to be good for him. And then she's stepping on his head. Oh, that's a nice mega crate. It has the Scott Pilgrim uh, comic. It has an Xbox One. It's got a hat. It has a Legend of Zelda backpack. It's got some nice stuff in it. Phones and things. Um... The death of Superman lives. <laughs> Superman lives, if you don't know. Uh, so let me show you the poster for this thing. Superman Lives was a, uh, a Superman movie that never happened, uh, starring Nicolas Cage. Directed by Tim Burton. Nicolas Cage as the Superman. Yeah. I am sad that it never happened. It would have been amazing. It would have been amazing. It would have been amazing. A Fallout 4 limited edition crate. Coming soon. That might be cool to get if I have the extra money. Uh, so yeah, the Legend of Zelda sweatband. I'm sorry, like, you, you're watching me look at this stuff and, like, only seeing it from far away. But it's pretty much everything I just showed you. I'm just making sure that I said everything right. Uh, yep, so that's it. Um, sorry that this was a particularly boring video. But this is a good book. I am going to enjoy reading this this weekend. Um, just look at that one. This, this one right here. A skeleton with, with long curly yellow hair. But uh, yeah, if you want to get in on Loot Crate, uh, there's a link in the description. There's a, um, it's a referral link. Uh, if you use the... Uh, Coupon code you save a little bit of money. I, have, I save a little bit of money on my next uh, purchase and so everybody wins and Let's just Turn this crate inside out. I'm a I'm a master at these things already I remember when they did the villains crate and it was like graffitied up with by by Joker and that was all really cool uh, flip this crate inside out. Yes, yes, that's what I'm doing. Really hope I don't knock my mic stand over. Um, <clears throat> okay, so far so good. Let's put 
trying to get this all right. Surprised I actually got that, but anyway, now it's a it's an apartment building, presumably in Gotham, because it's like go Batman. You can't really go go Batman and there's Joker and Harley and and ha 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 and anarchy and it's the peng penguin. It's the penguin's house. Guy with a Triforce shirt that doesn't belong here. <laughs> 1337 that's like a that's like an internet thing but yeah that's it for the loot crate thank you very much for watching this has been several to four and hopefully next month's loot crate is going to come when i'm feeling good there's always there's always a chance that it will fall out in the on a chemo week but there's a one in three chance but generally it seems to do that several months in a row what can you do uh but anyway thank you very much for watching once again if you want to join loot crate follow the description and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye everybody. Bye bye.